Hello everybody, this is Player 2 with Head Level, and I'm continuing on with Voices from the Sea. We are on the beach talking with Maris, and I just have another weather report. So, let us get to it! Oh, day four! Okie dokie! Earlier this morning, I couldn't find my headphones. That's strange. I thought I put them here yesterday. Where could they be? It must be Mom again. I immediately ran downstairs to the dining room where Mom was. Mom, have you seen my headphones? Your headphones? Oh, I put them inside your bottom drawer. Didn't I tell you not to touch my stuff? Stop doing that, it's annoying. But your room is always so messy. You need to learn how to clean your room. I don't need to learn that. I can do it just fine. I just don't feel like doing it. That's not good. You're already 13. You should be more responsible. Age has nothing to do with this. You know, Cantus, I'm worried about you. You should stop hanging on to those headphones of yours. Go out and make some friends. It's not good to be all alone all the time. I'm fine by myself. Just leave me alone. That's right. Everyone should just leave me alone. I'm fine by myself. I don't need friends. Cantus! Hey, Cantus! Are you listening to me? Huh? Oh, it's you. What's wrong? Cantus looks more serious than usual. It's nothing. Is that so? All right then, let's start round four. She's just as enthusiastic as ever. I wonder, how can you be so cheerful all the time? I always have that lingering question in mind whenever I look at her unrelenting smile. Oh, that's easy. Maris has a secret for it. Have you heard of this before? You'll feel better if you laugh. Huh? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Don't people normally laugh because they are happy? Yes, but it also goes both ways. Laughing can make you happy too. Is that really how it works? Right. That must be why Maris failed for the past few days. Maris was the only one who was laughing. Kanta should do it instead of Maris. Do what? Laughing. You should, you should laugh your heart out. I'm sure if you laugh, you'll feel happier. I, I don't really know about that. Come on. The sea is waiting for you. Give it your best shot. What? You want me to laugh at the sea? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. You can't be serious. There's no way I'll do something so embarrassing. This is more ridiculous than smiling for no reason. Come on, you can do it. Her eyes sparkle with excitement as she pushes me towards the sea. Why am I always so weak against this? All right. I decided to swallow my pride and do whatever she wanted me to do. Here goes nothing. I took a deep breath and ha 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 <laughs> you're getting there you should laugh louder ha 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 look oh look at him how embarrassing what is he thinking cantus what's wrong i i can't do it Huh? But you've just started. Come on, you can do it. Mm. Sure, let's try one more time. No, I just can't do it. Alrighty then. Hey, can we do something else? I don't think I can laugh. But why? 
Let's just go look for seashells as usual, all right? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a pretty one. Blue Dream. Do I wanna keep this? Yes, I do. Did you find something? Yeah. Oh, what could this be? A blue colored seashell. You don't see this type often. It looks like a jewel. Yeah, but it probably works well as a pendant. I've made some of the seashells, <laughs> seashells I found into necklaces before. I knew I was gonna mess up that word sometime. Really? What a concept. Cantus, let's go get more seashells and then sell them and earn lots of cash. I don't know about that. I doubt anyone wants them. But they are so pretty. Why won't anyone want them? I don't know. Go figure. We spent some time talking about the seashells as usual. However, the awkward silence returns as soon as the excitement wears off. Cantus, are you okay? Huh? I'm fine. I don't feel sick or anything. No, that's not what Maris meant. You seem upset when Maris asked you to laugh. It's nothing. I just don't like laughing. You said you'll feel better if you laugh. You're probably right. That must be why they all laughed at me. I sure hope they're happy now. But why would anyone laugh at Cantus? Who knows? It's not like I understand what others are feeling. Before I knew it, everyone around me laughs at everything I do. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't remember doing anything worth laughing. Cantus, stop playing with seashells. Come and play the latest video games with us. Huh? But I prefer seashells. What? Did you hear that, guys? What is he thinking? I really don't remember doing anything worth laughing at. Laughter? No, that's noise. That's right. No one wants to listen to noise. That's why it's okay if I cover my ears. It's okay if I don't have to listen to anyone. It's okay. You see these headphones of mine? I noticed that whenever I wear them, people would be reluctant to approach me. That's why I always wear them. To them, I probably look as if I'm busy in my own world. Really? I thought you wear them because they look cool. Nah, I don't really like wearing them. They're heavy and restrictive. If my mom didn't buy them for me, I doubt I would even get them. She's bought a lot of useless things for me, like the shirt I'm wearing now. As you can see, she's a total music geek. Unlike her, I'm not really into music. But I'll continue wearing these headphones as long as they stop people from talking to me. Cantus, sometimes you talk like an old man. What? What do you mean by that? Cantus is always so serious. Like there are so many things in Cantus's mind. Are you mocking me? No, Maris won't laugh at you. Maris wants to hear, Maris wants to laugh together with you. It's meaningless if it's only Maris who laughs. I wonder if things would have been different if someone had said that to me before. But Maris totally sucks at this. It's already the fourth day and we are not making any progress. You think so? I think you're something else. Huh? What did Maris do? <laughs> Swirly eyes. Nothing. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Maris doesn't get it. When was the last time I talked this much to anyone? How am I able to tell my feelings to a girl I barely know? If this were a mystery case, I don't think I'll ever be able to solve it. But that day I noticed, whenever I talked to her, these headphones of mine are nowhere near my ears. 
Weather report, rainy. Day five. Cantus. That day, Gario came back to my desk. I've never seen him look so serious before. What is it? You said you met a girl named Maris, right? What about it? You see, I got curious, so I asked around. No one here knows any girl named Maris. I'm not surprised. It proves that your awesome networking sucks. <laughs> Listen, I'm serious. Do you remember the rumor I told you the other day? What rumor? I knew you weren't listening. Basically, one boy in the other class went to the beach recently. And he saw something there. He saw a ghost. A female ghost. That girl you met, could she be... Right. Why would a ghost appear in broad daylight? Oh, good point. But if she isn't a ghost, then what is she? Just an ordinary strange girl. How can someone be ordinary and strange at the same time? Besides, I'm sure someone would have noticed her if she was that unique. Oh, I know. Maybe all of this is just in your head. Maybe you're so desperate for friends that you started seeing one. For a second, I thought he had substantial things to say. Why do I even bother? Okay, quick interjection. My guess is that, I don't know, maybe she's a mermaid or something. That's why she's always at the beach. Okay, a ghost, huh? With that question fixated in my mind, I instinctively stare at her. Um, Cantus, why are you staring at Maris like that? It's embarrassing. No, it's nothing. That stupid fly. Look at what he's done to me. Now I can't get it out of my head. It's true that this girl is unusual, but I just can't picture her as one no matter what. Hey, Cantus. Her voice finally snaps me back to reality. Have you ever built a sandcastle? Of course. If you're talking about many interesting things you can do here, building sandcastles is definitely one of them. All right, that's what we're gonna do for round five. Let's go build one. That's all? Isn't that too normal for your standards? What happened to your usual random antics? Has Maris does anything random? How about everything? Really? One look at her face and I can tell that remark has completely eluded her. She's blissfully unaware of herself. So, why stand castles? Oh, Maris has never made one before. Does Cantus dislike it? No, but I absolutely stink at it. All right then, let's complete Let's compete for the best sandcastle. The winner gets to punish the loser. Come again? Ready, set, go! Okay, like a predator that ambushes its unsuspecting prey, she left me hanging without further explanation. I take back what I've just said. She's just as random as ever. Cantus! Holy cow. What do you think? Maris worked really hard on it. Anyone can tell. I've never seen such an elaborate sandcastle. Are you absolutely sure you've never made one before? How about you, Cantus? What did you make? Oh. Is that melted ice cream? I glance at my quote-unquote sandcastle. Or at least that's what it's supposed to be. Embarrassment doesn't even begin to describe it. I've never felt so defeated. So, does Maris win? Challenge her again or look for seashells. Let's do this again. All right, this doesn't count. I'll make another one. Gosh, just as awful. Um, what's that? 
A sand castle. Are you sure it's not <laughs> poo? I glance at my second sand castle. There is no doubting it. Despite my effort, it looks worse than the first one. I've never felt so defeated. So, does this mean Maris wins this round? Oh, absolutely. I'm giving up. Seashell time. All right, you win. I have no talent for this. Yay! As punishment for losing so miserably, Cantus will have to get Maris's more she seashells. You called that punishment? I was planning to look for one anyway. I found a spiral whelk. Do I want to keep this? Sure. It took me some time to choose, but I think this is the best one I could get. Cantus! What did you get from Maris? Behold! You're about to witness the zenith of all seashells. A crimson colored whelk, a standout amongst its peer. Red like blood, together with its majestic fangs, ready to claw its victim. Spider? Tarantula? Violent games? Call of Dude? They've got nothing on this. For this is the true king among seashells. The pause that comes after is unsettling. Is she gonna laugh at me? Thank you, Cantus. It's a weird seashell, but Maris shall treasure it. At that time, I didn't notice that wonderful sense of relief when I heard her say that. What do you mean by weird? It's awesome. Cantus is always so passionate when it comes to seashells. I can't help it. You see, they remind me of the sea. I lived on this island ever since I was born. My house, my school, the neighborhood, they're the only places I knew all my life. I came to think that the world is so small, so insignificant. It all changed when I saw the sea for the first time. It's so huge, so amazing. You can't see the end of it. I remember I was so enthralled, I couldn't get my eyes off of it. I wished I could bring it home. Of course, it was just a silly thought. You can't do something like that. That's why I began to collect seashells. Unlike the sea, you can bring them home. They are the closest connection I have with the sea. It's like having it close to you all the time. That's... that's so embarrassing. <laughs> what? I remember she said that before. I always find you here. Surely you don't hate the sea, do you? Huh? I... I guess... She usually speaks with conviction. It's odd seeing her fidget as if she was uncertain of her answer. Maris is really happy that you think that way. But, Cantus, the sea and seashells are two different entities. They are just neighbors who happen to live side by side. If you really want to bring the sea home, this is what you should do. She takes out a tiny glass bottle and dips it into the sea. Here you go! With this, you can bring the sea everywhere you go. She always does the unexpected. But this time, it just feels right for her to do so. This is for me? Yes! Cantus gave Maris so many seashells. This is the return gift. Thanks. Thanks. It's a word that I haven't said in a long time. Was it the bottle that I was thankful for? Or was it something else? You see, this is what I meant by your usual random antics. Only you can come up with something like this. It's great, isn't it? What a strange girl. But if she isn't a ghost, then what is she? Just an ordinary strange girl. How can someone be ordinary and strange at the same time? 
Besides, I'm sure someone would have noticed her if she was that unique. Oh, I know. Maybe all of this is just in your head. You're so desperate for friends that you started seeing one. I still don't think that's true. Cantus? What's wrong, Cantus? It finally dawned to me why Gario's words bothered me so much. The strange disconnect that I felt ever since I met her. It's far from reality, like a dream that you don't want to wake up from. Everything is too good to be true. As the thought flashes through my mind, I hold tight the bottle that she gave me in my palm. It's as if I'm worried that it will disappear someday. Weather report, Windy, and with this weather report, I am stopping the video and we are continuing day six and seven in the next video. Alrighty, player two, hidden level, you guys know the drill. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!